I remember seeing the trailer for this movie and thinking it looked generic. If you saw the trailer for Tarot and you thought to yourself, that looks generic as hell, I got news for you. It is. Here's to trailers being honest without being a YouTube parody of trailers being honest. Let's make it fast. So in 2024, a year that's actually had some surprisingly good horror and other horror, that is not. A tarot is a movie. It follows a group of college students. They're at this Airbnb, they find this locked room, they go down into the locked room, they see a bunch of trinkets and spooky looking things, they grab the tarot cards, do a tarot reading, and now they're all going to die in the way the tarot cards showed them dying, or alluded to them dying. And yes, if it sounds like the exact cliche Cabin in the Woods was pointing at, it is. To the point where I started to theorize, is this a secret Cabin in the Woods prequel or something? That quickly went away at the fact that, well, the movie's just no fun. So when I say they were at an Airbnb and then they found the creepy room, what I mean is exactly that. They were at an Airbnb. There was no real setup for this thing. If I'm gonna reference Cabin in the Woods again, before they get to the cabin, you got to know the characters. You got to see them interact. Got a sense of who they were before it all started to go down. You don't in this movie. They're just at an Airbnb and they're like, hey, locked door, hey, tarot reading, which gives no real insight. There's some word vomit about horoscopes. Sorry to shatter the reality of some people who might be watching this. That doesn't mean shit. Was this movie written by the kind of people who size people up based on their horoscopes? Don't do that because you won't know shit about people like I didn't know shit about the character. So you don't know who these characters are, you don't know why you should give a shit, and then they start dying in a manner that feels like dollar store Final Destination. Only in Final Destination when they cracked the code of the order of sequence in which people were dying, that was simple, it was easy to understand, it was easy to convey to the audience. In the moment of build up when someone's about to die, this movie has to convey the double meanings among tarot readers. Readings, involving a multitude of cards and multiple double meanings among all of the characters. It's a lot of bullshit information that you're just not gonna retain. Luckily, the movie knows that. So they supply you with this audio B-roll that just comes across as a lot of jumbled chatter while the person's being chased down before they die. Because why would people hold on to such forgettable information? It actually might have helped the movie be a little more legendary if it didn't do that. Then if the people watched the movie multiple times with their friends, they could decode it themselves. You know someone in the room was the smart one. They were like, people aren't going to do that. This is a one-time viewing because they were dragged to it. So yeah, the people start dying. I felt no stakes, no emotion. The kills weren't even that satisfying. The acting was, call it overacting or underacting. Point is, not in the zone. You really feel that when the humor falls flat. There were some moments where I was like, this is supposed to be funny. There is no comedic timing in the room. I will say in the last act, there were a couple moments, you know, when it moved past the whole, like something going across the screen and going, making that sound, you know the sound. <laughs> I was just imagining something moving, not making the sound would be creepier. Stop making the dumb sound. <laughs> there were a couple of moments involving the magician. I was like, here we go. This ain't bad. If only the rest of the movie was this much fun. It just wasn't. Look, this movie is white noise. When I say a movie is good or fun for that Halloween horror movie binge, be clear, I need to be clear on that. I mean, you and your friends are actually locked into watching the movie. It's not white noise in the background. Tarot is what happens at a party in which no one's paying attention to what's on screen, but it's not the one you play. Now, Tarot is what comes on after you elected to stream another movie and that movie ended. It was like, oh, we got to put on something else, autoplay. Eh, fuck it, maybe they'll like this. The AI that wrote Tarot will put this movie on after the movie you elected to put on ends. This movie is dog shit. All right, so Tarot, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's a horror movie that's objectively bad? You know it's bad. Maybe everyone hates it. Except you. We all have them, we all love them. Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.